Let's solve this question together. Take a stab at it and then dive right in. So we're going to first look at the data set, which is the question statement or the entire scenario over here. So let's do this. Last summer, as with every summer, so this tells us that we are going to be talking about a, some kind of ritual. Okay, Ocean and Rena. so these are the characters in the scene. So Ocean and Rena. okay, what do they do? They made exactly one long trip together to a town neither of them had visited before. That's pretty interesting. So they both go to a town that neither of them had visited before. Okay, and this is a, an yearly thing or, or, or every summer thing. Okay, for their long summer trips, Ocean and Rena have always chosen. So here I'm going to understand, okay, what is the selection criteria of this town? Okay, we know that they go to this town, but how do they select this town? Right. So here is the selection criteria. The criteria is that they visit a town that Rena would have liked to visit. Okay. So we are honoring Rena's wishes. So whatever Rena wishes for, that's the town that they select. But let's see, unless, so there is another condition, unless Ocean had been to that town before. So there are two parts of the selection criteria. One is Rena's wishes and second is that Ocean should not have seen this town before. So that's how they end up selecting. So this one is Ocean should not have visited this town before. Okay. All right. Now Rena had visited. Now we are, we are getting to know which towns they have visited and which towns they have not. So this is another set of information that, that they're giving us. Yeah. So now we actually get to know that Rena had visited towns F and G before. So she had visited these two towns before and Ocean had never visited town J or K. So Ocean had never visited town J or K before. Never visited these two towns. Okay, sounds good. Then what do we have to figure out? Did Ocean and Rena visit one of these four towns last summer? So these are the four towns. One, two, three, four. Did they visit any one of these four towns last summer? That is what we have to answer, which means we have to look towards statements one and two to figure out are we getting enough information from there to be able to answer the question. But before we jump on to get additional information, we should take a look at it one more time. You know, we have extracted all the information, but let's take a look at it one more time to see is there any other inference that we can draw? There's definitely one inference that we, that we can draw. We know the condition that the towns that they visited last summer, they had not seen, neither of them had seen these towns, this town before, which means that if Rena has already visited towns F and G, this means that F and G cannot be one of the, one of the towns that they both visited last summer. So F and G are out of the list. So essentially, all we have to figure out is, did they go to towns J or one of the, did they go to town J? Did they go to town K or maybe did they did, did they go to some other town altogether? Okay, because we know that J and K are the two towns that Ocean had not visited. So really what we have to figure out from here is that did Rena wish for, did Rena wish for J or K? If we figure that out, okay, then we should be able to answer the question that yes, they went to town J or yes, they went to town K or no, neither. Okay, so that's how you have to do that level of pre-thinking so that you are equipped to handle additional information that you're going to see in the individual statements. Now, let's move to statement one. So this is our statement one. Rena had never visited town J. Does this tell us anything about her wish? Absolutely not. It doesn't tell us anything about her wish. And Ocean had never visited town F. Again, this also doesn't tell us anything about Rena's wish. So statement one does not help answer the question that we have, right? So choices A and D are gone. Let's look at statement two. Ocean would have liked to visit either town G or K. Now remember, do we care about what Ocean would have liked to visit? Absolutely not. All we care about is what Rena would have liked to visit. And this statement also does not answer our question, which means that choice B is also gone. Again, even if we combine the two statements, we still don't get any information because we don't really get to see whether Rena wished for J or K, right? So C is gone, which means choice E is the correct answer. 
Let's do a quick recap of how we approach this question. Again, thoroughly understand the data set. Immerse yourself in the scenario. Look at the kind of notes that we made. Once we understood, so as you're reading the passage, extract your notes so that you don't even have to go back to the passage to, to figure out whether the statement helps answer question or not, right? And do the analysis, I mean, understand the passage to such a degree through your notes so that you come up with a very simplified question statement, right? Instead of saying that, okay, did Ocean and Rena visit one of these four towns? Now the question that you were asking was, did Rena wish for towns J or K? Because you had already eliminated towns F and G, right? So that kind of simplification, essentially you're simplifying the question statement to, to that degree such that when you're looking at individual statements, you are not working off of a huge amount of data set, okay? A huge amount of data. And that's what ended up happening. As soon as we had the simplified version of the question statement, all we had to do was figure out is any of the two statements independently or together answering the question. And what we figured out was neither of the two statements are is, is sufficient and even their combination doesn't really help answer the question that has been asked, okay? So again, take detailed notes, make sure that you simplify, take detailed notes, okay? And make sure that you simplify your question statement to a degree that you are ready to absorb it, that you're ready to answer that question through the two statements that have been given to you, all right?